Hey guys, before we start, do you want to play some D and D? Yes, explosion! <laughs> yes, explosion! <laughs> boom, boom, boom! Pew, pew, pew! pew. <laughs> yes, <laughs> check the link down below to join the Discord West March game. Um, it's really fun. We're also if you're DM and you fancy to hold another game. Uh, let us know, um, yeah. because we do need some more DMs. With yeah, Bob. but join the Discord, read the Google Docs, and you'll know all about it. But today, this video is a video that we made a couple of weeks ago about the most sinful crimes against tabletop role-playing games. And we asked you in the comments to write your most sinful crime. And to be honest... You weren't that sinful. No, you weren't that sinful. I expected more sinful acts. I think I've done more sinful acts, to be yes, honest with you. so enjoy this video. But if you have... Any sinful acts. And they need to be sinful now. And Give they need game. to be on tabletop role playing games. I yeah. don't want to hear about any actual crimes. <laughs> <I> <laughs> them down below. Yeah. But let's get into the video. I once played an atheist cleric who pretended to be super religious just to piss the gods. Wait, but he doesn't believe in the gods, so how can he piss so off the gods? Can be, yeah. Alright, okay, that might be. Like, I would pray to gods by screaming obscenities directly at them. Kill and torture innocents in the name of lawful good gods, and do petty graffiti to holy places. Got struck by lightning more than a few times. Totally worth it. So yeah. how does that make you atheist then? You can't be. You can't be, it, you can't be the, atheist and then piss off the gods, gods and then also be smited by the gods because then that would disprove your. Whole I'm sorry, you're belief. not absorbing your I, sins. Uh, you are not absorbing your sins for this one boy. Be in a Pathfinder game. Playing as a gunslinger, Asimar. Friend makes holy fire grenades. Look at my revolver. Get an idea. What if we made the cylinder larger and make the grenades in the shape of bullets? DM groans when he came up with a rotary, <laughs> <laughs> rotary grenade launcher. Well, I, yeah. You know, I don't know. I wouldn't say that's really sinful. I would say that's more fun. Yeah. No, um, that's pure fun. Yeah, yeah. I've been trying to kill my character for weeks. Even fudging rolls and real lawyering. But that bastard cleric won't let me die. Well, what, what's going on with your character? Why are you trying to, <laughs> Why are you trying to kill your character? Like, what did you do? What, do you just not want to play as him? Or, I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of hard to work that out. We need more information. <laughs> we need more information. <laughs> let me, you, let you, me view you, reply. <laughs> you're not absorbed of your sins. I've tried to get romantic situations started in games for years. Just so that I could understand how the social aspect works IRL. Oh, oh. my god. Oh, my heart. <laughs> I don't know if he's taking the piss or not. I want to absorb him of his sins. I he's absorbed. Him. He's absorbed. I once accidentally vaporised an orphan, thinking he was an assassin. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, 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 was, I, 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 I don't know what to... <laughs> I was almost thinking, like, should I say something funny to that? I, was like, <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> I really have no words, but let's keep going. Let's... I chased the assassin into a building. As I entered... I could see the tail whip of his cloak passing around a corner, up a flight of stairs. I followed in suit. I heard a door slam as I cleared the stairs. I saw two doors at the end of the hallway, thinking it was the one furthest. I readied myself to cast Guiding Bolt. I knew that if the rogue got the drop on me, I'd be dead. So my character went about his next few actions without a sound state of mind. I kicked down the door, casting Guiding Bolt at the figure next to a window inside the room. I rolled a 20 on my attack, and so my cleric roared, ASCEND! I did near to max damage, times two due to crit. My soul sank as I saw the little orphan boy before me in a split second get vaporised out of existence. Now my sin was, instead of taking responsibility, my cleric, quite literally, Swept the mistake he made under the rug. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> now, I don't know if that would be too bad if it was any other class within Lazum. Yeah. But I don't know if clerks can do it. It depends on what you play on them, stuff like that. It is a bit bad you swept them under the rug. But it's Literally. Kind of... <laughs> Hiding my mistakes. Does, does anyone really care about orf orphans a lot? Oh, James. Well, look, it's true. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. You're absorbed with your sins in my eyes. Maybe Megan doesn't want to absorb you. <laughs> <laughs> when I GM, I usually put NPCs in PCs group that serve the role of stopping them from killing themselves with dumb declarations. This allows me to create a lethal world, that is as lethal as XCOM, without squad wipes, total party kills, every two sessions. They only happen every 10 sessions, when I don't give them meat shields, allies, or when PCs do shit that would get them the Darwin's award. 
Also, PCs of players that come late to the sessions tend to die from stray bullets or snipers. P.S. My players like the hardcore difficulty level. Edit. I tend to favour PCs with good backstories. Well, that's not really a sin if no, the players I don't think it's a sin. It. Yeah. If the players like it... It all depends think... on your party. Yeah, it depends on you play. On how you play. Yeah. I don't think that's really a Sometimes sin. Sometimes you can play with people who are like really fucking anal with the rules and then the other people are like, let's just fucking kill everything. Just fucking, fucking do, do it. it. <laughs> fucking do it, you know. I, can't, I tend to feel just fucking do it. I just can't. fucking do it yeah, too. <laughs> I, I know, I'm bad for I fed a room of nobles to a family of astral snappers. Basically, my wizard had connections with the astral plane. And one of the allies he made while doing some quests there, he befriended a group of astral snappers. At least to where they wouldn't instantly try to rip our organs out. And occasionally could work with us if we made it worth their while. So during a mission on the material plane, we were captured by a large group of nobles. Mostly their guards caught us. So my wizard called in a favour from the astral snapper that followed us around in the astral plane and then watched as about a dozen astral snappers devoured and burst through the bodies of the nobles. Edit spelling. Fuck I know. (laughs) Right. I will say, I don't think you need to be absorbed via sentence here. No. For this one. However. Because you were captured. You were captured, you know, and you called in a favour. I don't really consider that. Okay, it's a bit belittle. Yeah. But, eh, not the worst. Not the worst. However, you're not being forgiven for your fucking grammatical errors. I'm yeah, grammatical that. errors. You, <laughs> you're not being forgiven for that, alright? <laughs> I had done bad things role playing as a little girl, and not just murder. I don't know. I don't want. I don't want to. I really don't want to know. You're not. I, you're you not going to be. You're definitely not going to be absorbed with your sentence. No. I, you're not going to be absorbed. No. I'm be honest with you. I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Let's move on. Keep going. Keep going. Fuck this. <laughs> My party and I summoned Jack the Ripper, who proceeded to kill the world's entire population. The session after this was a total party kill. <laughs> yeah, sounds right, right. When you kill the whole world, but. I don't think Jack the Ripper was all that dangerous, was it? He only killed Gostchurts. Yeah. It wasn't like a... I think it's because it was, he was like one of like the first of his kind. Yeah, he was like the first... Like that's, not, that's not get into right, talking okay. about serial killers, because I could be here all day. Yeah, let's keep going, let's keep going. For the most part, yeah, it sounds fun enough. Yeah, yeah. absorbed of your sins, absorbed of your sins, don't you worry. I created Corey in the house. He is a noble bard. <laughs> I really like the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that works really well. So it does. I like that. That's pretty cool. That does not deserve... Uh, that's not sinful in the sense. No, it's not sinful. What are you doing here? Very good, though. Very good. <laughs> Upon designing my first character, I grew so attached to them that I scrambled to find any way to keep them alive. This was achieved throughout a long series of reading about different species and variants, struggling to find at least some method of immortality that didn't rhyme with lich. This resulted in a human revenant fighter with the Death Knight subclass, originally killed in a war by a wild magic electromancer. Electromancer? Oh, is that like, you know, them, remember that video of, you know, the goth, fucking, the cyber goth? That's what I'm just thinking of a fucking (laughs) rave, fucking necromancer, like, batting it out. Yeah, that's exactly. Fucking electromancer. Um, You know know the video I'm all about, you know the one? Yeah, the ones under, like, under the bridge, you know, fucking going like that. I'm going to play it on screen, but I can't play the audio. They're like cyber goths, are they not? Yeah, 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 they are. Fucking love that (laughs) one. Anyway, keep going, yeah. (laughs) The wild magic raised him as a purposeless revenant rendering him almost completely unkillable, negating his resurrection every time. The DM is fine with it and actually helped me make it, but I feel guilty and overcome the guilt by essentially making myself a wildly singing mid-shield with no self-regard to protect the party. Well, it's not too bad. It's, it's not too bad, especially if he's putting himself in harm's way to protect yeah. his party, to keep his character. Uh, you know, okay, yeah, maybe a bit cheap or whatever. But at the same time, if you're really that connected to the character and if you haven't finished the campaign yet... Yeah. I've heard, I've heard, I've heard of a lot it worse. Up. I've heard yeah. of a lot worse. Honestly, yeah, absorbed of your sins. And be honest with you, you're not a lich, so it's pretty cool. It's something different, yeah. you know? Not only killed someone, but convinced the paladin that they were the one responsible. Oh, that's just horrible now. It's very good, though. <laughs> it is very good. It is, be honest with you, it is worth yeah. it. Yeah. Especially, it depends on what type of paladin. Sometimes you just got to fuck with them. That's because paladins are what? Lawful stupid? Yeah, lawful stupid. Although I do think I'm doing a pretty good job with... Uh, Sir Ian of Ulster. With Sir Ian of Ulster at the minute. Um, next time we go, you want to play D&D with us? Check it out. Jump on the Westmarch yeah, game. I'm sure we've said that in the... Uh, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> do it. 
<laughs> the Emperor did. Did. Keep going. Keep going. Let's keep. What are we doing? Some time ago, I was spontaneously chosen as a DM by a group of friends. They said that they liked when I told stories of my mountain treks. We chose Warhammer Fantasy. My experience was literally playing twice as a player and I knew fuck all about rules. I also had little time to prepare, so I just drew a map of the main island, one tower, one dungeon, made up a few plot points, got one big bad evil guy disguised as a local, helpful wizard NPC, then scattered a few magic items with effects based on the Dresden Files book. Literally made stuff up only while taking the bus to our meeting place. Brutalised the rules of combat to make it fast and bloody, with crits from larger weapons hitting multiple enemies at once. Players said it was a blast to play and didn't believe me when I said I was making stuff up on the spot for the whole time. I wouldn't say it's sinful. I wouldn't say it's sinful. I, I'm like, you know, like, sometimes you get the better stories out of that. Like, the way it looks to me is these people just kind of, they kind of get the basic gist of how to play tabletop games, but they don't know, like, you know. They not, don't know how to set it up. Because I wouldn't have it. a fucking clue how like, to set you know, it up. They don't, they don't know anyone that knows how to do it. It's like, you, do you want to just, you give, just give it a go? go? Yeah. I would say that sounds dead on. As far as things go, I'm, I'm going to assume they all know the set well enough and yeah. just fuck about. You know? yeah. But no, I, I don't think that deserves forgiveness by any means at all. I don't think that's sinful in the slightest. I am insanely racist when it comes to fantasy races. Yeah, I kind of fall into that. Category. I fall into that too. Yeah. I only ever play humans and have an indistinctive dislike to elves, beast races, and anything that starts with half. The moment a player comes to my game with the old mage elf or some beast race, they go on the shit list. Doesn't apply for the lesser liked races though, weirdly enough. Yeah, well, you know, I kind of suffer from that as well myself. I really don't like it when people play like half somethings just for the sake of it's it. It's because they can't, you know what if it is? It's, an, if no. you're going to play an elf or you're going to play an orc, just play a fucking orc or just play, play a an elf. elf. It's because they want the, the best of both. Yeah, and I, that's to me, I don't know why. I just really don't like half creatures. Who the fuck wants to play as an elf anyway? Well, elves aren't too bad. Like, you know, they're not the worst. I don't like them in D&D because they're kind of gay, but I do like them in Lord <laughs> of the Rings. I, lo- I do like them in Lord of the Rings, but yeah. also they're up their fucking holes in Lord of the Rings as well. Yeah, they kind of are. But that's what makes them fun in Lord of the Rings. And honestly, how many times do we do this in every fucking and, video when we talk about fucking and on, elves? Honestly, I love Lord Elrond, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it, 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 it equals out. It equals out. It equals out. <laughs> So, yeah, if I be honest with you, I didn't really find many of them over the top sinful. No. Um, a lot of them were actually kind of cool, and a lot of them, like, you know, it's like, well, you know, that works, it's okay. Don't but really I want to hear sinful. Uh, yeah, I want to hear about the time where you actually, like, you know, like, pff, you fucking took a wank on your DM's pillow or some <laughs> shit, just because <laughs> you fucking killed maybe your character. Not, maybe not like, that. Okay, maybe not that bad, but, you know, I want something bad. <laughs> like, you know, I want something that you wouldn't admit in public. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, maybe something like that. I don't know. Don't make it up, but, like, make it good. Yes. You know, make it spicy. Give me that spicy shit, you know? And maybe we'll do another one of these videos, because I kind of enjoy them. Um, only other little things to talk about is the D&D Westmarch server we're on at the minute. Um, if you want to play D&D with us, definitely check out the Discord link down below. It's going to be in the description and the top comments. Please, whenever you join, actually, the Get Started channel... Otherwise, you won't know what to do, and yeah. all the information's there to get playing. There's pe- we've got people from all different, like, you know, backgrounds. Some people have never played 5th edition. Some yeah. people have only played Pathfinder. Like, it's open to everyone, yeah. and we're more than willing to work there's with there's a anyone. lot of different times as well. Oh, yeah. So, th- more than willing to open, like another game that suits you and other people who are in your time zone and stuff yeah, so, so like, we can work with it don't worry about that anyway I hope you guys enjoyed check the links down below all the really good shit and also stay safe oh yeah actually I'm just put yeah, that yeah, out yeah actually stay safe I hope, yeah. I hope everyone's well and I hope everyone is doing okay okay in families. I don't want I don't want in the comments on this one to be like oh I give fucking coronavirus to my DM because he fucking did yeah. this and that <laughs> no but seriously no, everybody but... stay safe and stay well yeah and hopefully we can all get through this together yeah and we're going to be here entertaining you if you're in self-isolation <laughs> so hey, hey. <laughs> notification bells choo, choo, choo. <laughs> <laughs> like we've been rambling long enough hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you in the next video bye